to rest. Hmm, what's that? Um, and if you're fighting enemies, like, if you're fighting, like, with a different... If, like, another character type would work better, they'll be all like, Hey, help me with this, or whatever. But, uh, one of the dialogue... A few of the dialogue choices that you, uh, get to make reference... Um, older East games, like, uh, the one where Captain Barbaros asks you to make the map... Uh, one of your options is like, oh, I have experience as a cartographer. And he's like, oh, really? Because you do. Because in Celceta, he made maps with uh, Durin. And I thought that was kind of cool. Um, there was one... Well, I'll get to that later, because that, that's a spoilery stuff. But, uh, yeah, so basically, you're just kind of going around, mapping the island, trying to find castaways. And you'll set up camp... Um, at this point you've met Laxia, who is a, uh, noble chick, and she's all like, Oh, uncouth! Oh! Um, she kind of shapens up. She has pretty good development. She, she develops really quickly. There's another really sort of, like, snobbish sort of aristocratic character, and he gets some development, but he's, his overall attitude doesn't change. And you also get Sahad, who is kind of like the... The Dogie counterpart. I don't want to say he's the Dogie of the game, because obviously Dogie is in this game, but like he's not playable. Um, he has a cool goatee, though. But a Sahad, he's sort of like... Like, if Durin is sort of like the gameplay uh, carryover or alternate for Dogie, Sahad is definitely that, and he kind of fits the bill a little bit better, though, because he's a larger guy, he's got the blue hair, and also he's cooler than Durin. And... Uh, I think he's, frankly, I think he's one of the more fun characters to listen to. If you remember the, uh, the screenshots from the old localization, you might have seen him talk about how he took shits. He still takes shits, except he just says dumps. So I guess shit was a little too crude, even though he says shit near the end. Um, huh? He's like, well, shit. Um, dude, a story. Thanks. But, um... As when you're camping, oh, he also passes gas too. Like he passes gas, like I think, like four times throughout the game. Like it's in the first time you're having camp, he's all like, "Yeah, I just try to go with my spirit." <laughs> and then, uh, oh my god! And at all, it like looks at him, and you have a choice of saying, "Like, did you just?" Which is the one I chose because I was trying to kind of play Adol sort of straight. Um, and but then another, the other one was, I think I know you a lot better now. <laughs> and he he was all like, "Yeah, I'm just kind of you know trying to be myself." And the one that surprised Laxia didn't even bat an eye at it. And I'm thinking like, "Aren't you gonna be like, oh, how dare you flagellate in front of a lady?" Mm. And I'm like, "Why? Why?" She's so like, "She just kind of it, it's to their credit, um, it's it's sort of a." She has sort of like this, uh, I think what they were going for is like a, oh, what, what in the world have I gotten myself into kind of, she doesn't really react that way, but that's sort of the way I'm taking it. Um, and there's a, another one where like, he's at the, he's at their doctor and he's like, man, I'm getting excited. Rip. He's like, huh, maybe a little too excited. Um, and then there was another one where he passed gas in front of my waifu and she's all like, to fuck. My wifey's Kathleen. She's the uh, black blacksmith girl. She's my waifu. This guy sounds like your spirit animal, Ryan. <laughs> but uh, and there later on they introduce a uh, night exploration where you camp overnight, and you're they're in a place where you go into like these uh, they're these uh, creatures that they call primordials. They have another name as well. Once uh, a certain character joins the party. But uh, it's like, be sure not to wake them up. And then Sahab's like, well, I hope I don't pass any pass any gas while we're over here. But uh, um, yeah. Besides that, and the the stuff about Sahab taking a dump, the humor is a bit more clean overall. Like he's really the only one, um, who kind of says stuff like that, as far as I remember. But anyway, every night when they camp, Adol is having a dream about somebody. And it, he it's sort of like a progression. He's like, I keep having dreams about 
you know, this chick and this other place. And every time they prompt you, like you, you have a choice of saying it's nothing. Whenever someone asks him, I always, I was always honest. I'm just like, what, what's the point of him being like, oh, it's nothing. I'm just having a dream about this random ass chick. <laughs> uh, and then it gets to a point to where you actually get to play as this character, and that's where they uh, introduce like Donna and whatnot, who's the blue hair chick in this game. Um, the alternative adult is what I like to call her, because in this game it's like E7. And Memories of Celsetta, where um, you have a team of three, and you can switch between them. My team really was just um, Adol, Laxia, and Sahad. I didn't switch them out hardly at all. I only played as Donna for a little bit, because, you know, you, you have to. Um, and uh, I played as a, a character named Rakota a, a little bit, and uh, I played as everyone a little bit, but I mainly stick with that. Uh,